Good evening, I'm Lisa Washington. Scott Schaefer has the night off. We begin tonight in Lackawanna County, where more than a dozen people are now without a home after being told to leave a motel in Scott Township because of an oil spill. Newswatch 16's Jack Culkin spoke with those who say they have nowhere else to go. He's live in our newsroom tonight with the story. Jack. Lisa, after an oil spill condemned the only place they can call home, close to 20 people are now without a place to sleep tonight as temperatures dip near freezing. I heard a boom, boom, boom at the door, and I'm like, what is this? Jason Egroff woke up to firefighters pounding on his and other residents' doors after an oil spill at Motel 81 in Scott Township. According to the residents, the spill happened because of missing copper pipe in the basement of the building. Once the spill was under control, Egroff and others were told to get out. He says the owner of the motel didn't offer them any assistance. No notice. No sympathy, not we're going to do this for you. Like he's got a bunch of homeless people here now. It's insane. You know? We always pay our rent on time. We never have any miss, but yet this is what we're being treated. Guy Turner and Kathleen Collins have been staying at Motel 81 for the last few months. Now that the building is condemned, they have nowhere else to go. I was in the room crying about a half an hour, 45 minutes ago. I have nowhere else to go. I don't want to live like this. There has been nerv nerve rocking because they keep um, telling us, well, the police is going to come and, you know, pull us out and force us out. So we're just hanging, we're just hanging in there. We reached out to the motel owner who said the building is condemned and that to his knowledge, no people were on or staying in the property. Residents who wish to remain anonymous say that isn't true. The owner was here, and my husband went up to him and asked him, what are you going to do for us? This is your problem. And he says, there's nothing we can do. It's not our problem. It's your yeah. problem. You've got to find a place. We did reach out to Scott Township Police to see if anything was being done for the residents still staying at the property, but they did not get a re uh, respond to us. Jack Hulkin, Newswatch 16, live in the newsroom.